What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. For today's review, I've waited for a long, long time to do this, and I'm gonna be bringing you a review of these Alphaly version two joggers. I have these in two colors, green and black. You can also get them in red, you can get them in gray, and a blue color as well. So with that said, let's get on with today's review. Right guys, so first things first, I'm five foot seven tall and both of these joggers are in a small. I got the small not because of the waistband, but because of the length on the leg. I have quite short stubby legs and then a longer upper body. So actually I tend to go for the smaller sizes, whether that be shorts, joggers, anything that I wear, jeans, I tend to go for the shorter leg size rather than the waistband size. So here we are guys, as you can see if I work from my waist downwards, you can see on the back of the joggers they have Alphalete branding on the back, written this kind of a stitch type feeling. It's not actually embroidered like the Zenith t-shirts, it's an actual stitching on top of the joggers. And this is actually the only branding they have on the entire thing. Everything is very minimal, very simplistic. So first impressions, as you can see, when you get them out of the packet, they feel nice and thick, nice and strong, nice and durable. Especially on the waistband where it feels a lot thicker than your average sports joggers, your average sports shorts. All the while it's remaining in this thickness, guys, it does not restrict movement in the slightest and you have absolutely no problems when squatting whatsoever. So now let's get into the actual appearance of the joggers. If I work from my waistband down, guys, I'll just describe it to you bit by bit. So as you can see here on the drawstring, guys, it has a black and white zigzag pattern, and that is consistent throughout every single jogger, regardless of which color you get. That can obviously be used to tighten and loosen the waistband, depending on your waist size. If you need a smaller waistband, then obviously you can just tighten it with the drawstring. So moving down the side of the joggers, guys, they have a stitching, and that is consistent throughout the quad as well. That is there, as Christian said himself, to emphasize the quad and emphasize the hamstring, just there to bring out the shape, bring out the real size and shape that you've earned in those quadriceps. So if we move over to the back of the joggers, guys, we have a line where your calf insertion would be. That again is to emphasize and just give it that nice, unique look that Alphalete wants to go for. So if we continue down the right leg, just the right leg, you have a reflective strip, which is also used as a zipper. We have zippers on both legs, but just the reflective strip on the right leg. Just one more thing to the appearance, guys. We have pockets, as you would expect with joggers on the left and the right side. Both of these sides have little tags on them, which you can remove if you're not a fan of it. But actually, I was thinking about removing it personally because you can't actually pull the pocket closed when you're using the little zipper. You have to grab the actual zipper tag itself. So that can be a little bit frustrating if you can't just quickly grab your pocket and pull it closed but that's probably why they made it a removable feature rather than a permanent feature. In terms of the pocket size, I have an iPhone 7 Plus, so as you all know, that is a very big phone and I have no issue whatsoever fitting that into the pocket and zipping it up, as well as other things. But do bear in mind that if you have big wallets and big phones, lots of chains, all that kind of stuff, then it is more likely to wear the material down quicker and it is more likely to make them a bit baggier around the waist and around the bum. So just a quick look at the joggers in black before I change it to the green ones. Remember, I'm five foot seven with quite short legs and these are size small. So here they are on me from the front, the side, and the back. So I'll just quickly get changed into the green joggers. We'll get back to you guys in a second. So here it is guys, the olive green colour. I did the actual review in the black colour, but just for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you both colours that I own. The same designs, the same patterns feature throughout both colours and every single colour that you can buy. Now let's talk about the price. Now these were on the more expensive side of the joggers, but you have to think long term that these are kind of a lot more durable than your average if you just go to Sports Direct, if you're in the UK, something like that. These are gonna last a lot longer and be a lot more durable than those feel a lot more flexible, give you a lot more range of movement, and actually just look a little bit nicer, in my opinion, anyway. On top of the $54 per pair that you have to pay for each of these version two joggers, you have to pay, I think it's 11 or $12 shipping on top of that, if you're in the UK, like myself. If you're in America, then look at you, but if, you might, if like myself, you're in the UK, you have to pay shipping, but then when it gets here, you also have to pay import fees, which tends to be another 15 to 20 pound per delivery. All of a sudden when you're paying £50 for each pair of joggers, £100 for the two pairs that I have, it becomes £120 when you add on the shipping and £120, uh, £130 plus £140 when it comes to adding on the import costs. So you kind of have to gauge whether that is worth it in your opinion, gauge whether that's worth it to maybe some other competitors. 
I won't go into that, that's for another video. But as I keep saying, and as I say in every single review, that is all down to you, it's all down to personal preference. You just have to bear in mind the things that I've said, the different factors that might affect you individually. You just have to make that decision for yourselves, guys. I can't make that decision for you. I can only make videos like this and other videos which will be linked in the description box for you guys in order for you to make your decision. Because obviously, it can be a fair bit of money that you end up spending on these kind of clothes. So that is going to be it for today's video guys, just a quick review on the Alpha Elite version 2 joggers. I've got some more reviews coming in over the next couple of weeks, some more Alpha Elite performance t-shirt reviews, maybe an Alpha Elite vs Gymshark jogger review. Let me know if you want me to do that, those kind of videos by leaving a like and leaving a comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for loads more good content, lots of vlogs, motivational videos, all that kind of stuff. If that's what you're into, then click that subscribe button and stay tuned for much, much more. As always guys. Remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.